Anthony Reid, it's wonderful to see you as always at the Festival of Speed and um, I think a couple of hours ago this morning you took to the hill for the first time in a NASCAR, which must have been pretty exciting. Incredible. I mean, I've been racing for almost 40 years and I've driven a lot of different stuff including Formula One, but never a NASCAR. And it's just one of those things that was on my bucket list to do. And suddenly I got the call, come and drive this car. I mean, the team that actually owns the car, Michael Waltrip Racing, is like Ferrari is to Formula One. And the car's being run by Richard Childress Racing this weekend, another hugely famous and very successful team in NASCAR, to get the opportunity to drive a car with not six, seven, or even 800 horsepower. This thing's got 900 horsepower. It's just unbelievable. And did it live up to expectations? Yes. You know, it's built for purpose. It's a great car to drive. I mean, it communicates with you. Yes, it's got all this power, but the brakes are great, the steering's very accurate. Um, not a lot of downforce, but it gives you a lot of feedback, so you can wring the car's neck. But the problem we had this morning was that the hill, you know, it's green. Uh, uh, you know, it's yet to rubber in. But as the track rubbers in over, hopefully, a dry weekend, uh, we're going to find the, the car's going to get quicker, it's going to be more settled and we should be able to deliver some quick lap times. Well, what sort of time do you think it would be capable of? If I could get into the 50s, I'd be delighted. I was a lot slower this morning, but, you know, baptism of fire, and always watching out for that flint wall. <laughs> but uh, I, I just love it. I just, it's just such a huge opportunity. With that know. taste of a, a, a NASCAR, it's a, a Toyota Camry, isn't it? It's sort of yes. ostensibly. Yeah, I mean, the size and shape of the car is controlled very much by the, the regulations, so it looks like a GM or a Ford, but it's a Toyota Camry with the, its own special Toyota engine. Um, push rod, down draft, not uh, uh, the sort of culture that the Japanese are used to, you know, which high tech, but this is built very much for the American it's market. The way the good old boys like it. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to take part in NASCAR racing? Would you have done in previous years? I would like to right now. I mean, I'm racing against Mike Skinner. He's the same age as me. Uh, uh, the King, Richard Petty, he's here. Obviously, he's retired now. Uh, huge success that he's had. Uh, is it uh, Terry Labonte is here? Some, some of the big names. All the big um, names are here. And they're not, they're not spring chickens. They're just, but they're really experienced drivers and experienced cats for a lot of motor racing. Now, Anthony, what else is on your bucket list? Well, uh, I'd love to drive um, the current era hybrid LMP1. That's what I'd love to do, but I, I, don't, I guess I'll probably never get that chance. It must be an incredible experience. If you watched the Le Mans 24 hours just last week, I mean, those cars are astonishingly fast. Uh, they actually corner quicker than an F1 car. They accelerate faster than the Formula One car. Okay, they may, may be a little bit clumsy in the slow corners because they're heavier, but they've got much more power. I'd love to see one of those cars go against a Formula One car head to head at Le Mans, because I think the LMP car would be quicker. Best of luck with your runs. As always, it's great to see you, so thanks very much and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thank you.